all. The Dugard 100 lathe, I could fit this lathe literally in my garage, but why would I buy such a small lathe when I could future-proof myself and buy a larger one? I thought you had a really small garage, but obviously <laughs> not. Um, Dugard 100, you used to see these machines in the field all the time. It used to be the Eagle 100 machine. Uh, you, you could buy a bigger machine, correct, but also probably you need a small machine. I mean, you know, most machine shops have got a small turning centre. You've still got manual lathes, you've still got tool room mills. You know, there's always a need for a smaller machine. And also, uh, you know, floor space is a premium, isn't it? So the smaller you can get a machine, the more spindles you can maybe get in, a, in an area if, if the work's suitable. I mean, as well, I suppose, Paul, if you've always been doing small turn parts, you know, perfect. Now, tell me about the machine. It's linear guides, the size of the chuck. Yeah, so this machine, just looking at the brochure, it's a 52mm uh, bar machine and it's got a 152mm chuck on it. Now, you, you, you're quite right in saying that this is a straight this is a straight turning machine here. You've got a BMT turret, uh, you've got a tail stock here, which is kind of like a, a, a drag and drop tail stock. So uh, the, the quill will be programmable, but the actual body of the um, tail stock won't be. But you can see inside the machine, it's quite a it's quite a compact machine. The turning diameter on this um, is 260 mm is the max turn diameter, and you can actually turn 290 millimeters in length. So, yet there are bigger machines in the market. But I know from my travels, I used to come up against the Dugard Eagle 100 and 200 all the time. They were a very popular machine. Now, obviously, you know they've got to be priced correctly, uh, and this is a very competitively price solution as well, equipped with the FANUC OI TF control. Anyone looking for a lathe should get in contact with Dugard and, and this could be a really great option for them. I, I always think they are. I mean, the, the Eagle, as I said, well, it used to be the Eagle, it's now the Dugard 100. This has recently been um, kind of rebranded in a sense and it's got a new look to it. They come with, uh, you've got like parts, um, parts bin, you've got parts catcher, you've got tool setting arm, you've got the chuck size that I mentioned already. They also come with a, with a swarf conveyor, which you can see to the left of me or to the right of the machine there. So it comes as a complete package. You can have a bar feed interface, uh, and, and also just from a maintenance perspective, little things like this where you've got doors opening at the, the front and the side of the machine for lubrication. Everything is in a very, very tidy area. They're focusing on the fact that, that, foot, uh, that, that floor space is a premium, and if you want to get a lot of machine for your money in a small footprint, then this small um, lathe from uh, Dugard is ideal. Now, is this machine in stock and how should people get in contact with Dugard? As we see it here, Geo, this machine is available. It's in stock along with some of their other uh, models, the 200, the 300 and the 350. And further than that as well, all available in stock here uh, in Hove.